we're welcoming all of you to rural work county coming out to the country to visit us. We appreciate that so much. You know, as a registered dietitian nutritionist, there's no greater calling in life than to be able to teach children how to live healthier lives. And when you have the first lady on your side, that just so magnifies everything. And so my passion and her passion are exactly the same. We have been so fortunate in Burke County to be able to incorporate and do and enact all the things that were part of the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act. There were some great programs and here in Burke County. We have been 100% successful in doing those programs. We offer breakfast in all our schools and we have 76% of y'all eating breakfast every day and you do breakfast in the classroom, we do grab and go at the middle school, and we have all those great healthy lunches that are culturally appropriate and love y'all love so much that we have 96%, actually 89% of y'all eating lunch with us every day. And then we also have the Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Grant Program. Y'all remember that in elementary school? I know y'all missed that program, don't you? That snack every afternoon because we fed y'all 65 different fruits and vegetables. And I know some of y'all miss all those wild and crazy fruits and vegetables. And then we started the summer program here in our county. We've been doing that for five years and our graduation rate has increased to 94%. And that is because children want to stay after school to eat supper and so they stay and learn. And our athletes have done such a great job with the supper program. They have built muscles. And they, so they really appreciate the supper program too. We offer the summer feeding program and we have an 836 square mile county. And we have 15 school buses that go out all over the county and take lunches to 2,000 kids every day during the summer. Healthy lunches and the kids get on the bus and eat and go home. So we've been doing a lot of things. We started our farming program here and the kids have started learning how to plant and grow and eat and taste healthy foods every day. So when they come to the cafeteria, they like broccoli now because y'all been growing broccoli here in the, in the greenhouses. So as part of that, we've had all our local farmers start growing for us and they are just beating down the door loving growing for Burke County. So as part of that, our teachers have started saying, we have all this great food here, how can we buy it from home? So we have a farmer's market now. So the farmer's market twice a month, and they've been selling out before the end of the farmer's market. So we are so thrilled and honored that y'all can come today to talk to our kids about what they've been learning about their garden. And so at this point, I want a big welcome for a very special person who I heard likes to work in the garden. Al Roker from the Today Show. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, weather and, and gardening go hand in hand. Uh, you, you need the rain, you need the sun. So our forecast helps you grow your, your garden, make it strong, make it good. And uh, I'm just excited to be here because the weather is perfect. It's got a beautiful day today. And you'll get some showers toward the end of the week, which will be great for everything to plan. So this is perfect. It's fantastic. But uh, the idea of gardening is so, so special, and the idea that for the first time since World War II, uh, First Lady planted a help with the help of school kids like you, planted a garden at the White House, the White House Kitchen Garden. It's been growing strong, growing stronger, and so I, I think it's so important that our gardener-in-chief, the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, is here to help you grow strong. Ladies and gentlemen, the First Lady, Michelle Obama. Hey guys, you feeling good? Yeah. You ready to plant? Yeah. Well, if you haven't noticed, I'm excited to be here. I think, as you heard from this part, there's a real reason why we picked Burke County to be here, because you all are leading the way in farm to school programs. You're using it in your classrooms, and you're eating healthier school lunches, and it's having a good impact on your education and on your overall health. And that was really the point, uh, one of the reasons why I planted the first White House kitchen garden at the White House almost eight years ago. And Tuesday, we did our last planting before my husband and I, we leave the White House. So I was a little sad, but wanted to celebrate by doing what we're calling an American garden tour. 
So I'm traveling all around the country and highlighting all the great work that's been done over the last seven or eight years in community gardens and school gardens because since we planted our garden, a lot of people across the country have done the same things. And so there are all these wonderful stories all over the country. Burke County right here is a wonderful example of what schools are doing, doing in rural communities and how it's benefiting. And Al and I are going to hop back on my plane and we're flying to Newark, New Jersey in a couple of hours and we're going to highlight what's going on in an urban garden school. So we're going to an urban school there and they've got their garden on a rooftop. So we're making the point that you can garden anywhere. You can even garden in space because on Friday, I think, they're going to blast off some seeds to the International Space Station where they're going to grow cabbage and some of the stuff that we're growing in the White House kitchen garden just to prove that you can garden anywhere. So I just want to say I'm proud of you all for the work that you do because I know that a lot of what you do is student initiated. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys what you learned, what you're doing, and then hopefully helping you plant your uh, your garden for this year, okay? So with that, I'm going to start talk, stop talking, and we're going to start learning from you guys, okay? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's get it done.